Hey yo guys, what's up there family tech video? Um, today, special day, it's exactly what happened with the A71. Bro getting, bro's getting a um, new camera. Would you go XC30? XC30, yeah. And that's what we're reviewing today and um, hopefully you will enjoy. <laughs> Oh, by the way, oh. this is our first time we, should, we unboxing back to back. Yeah. Don't you think? It is yeah. our first time, yeah. Okay. All let's right. go, guys. Let's go unbox it. Woo! So. Okay, so this is the camera and we've got a noise. Don't go to your side. Damn, bro. You got the whole squad laughing. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get to the unboxing. Oh. Uh, this is the silver version because um I don't like the black one. Really wanted to see. Yeah, it he wanted silver. I don't understand. Like, and anyways, yeah, Gucci film logo, top of the box. Let's get unboxing. Very similar, just ask. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 A uh, phone application to you know download. And then here it is. Dang, yeah, that's kind of clean. So I'm pretty sure the kit lens is here, and then this will be the camera. So I'm, oh, let's. I feel like it's a body. Yes, it is. Oh. Wow, that that is that is kind of small, but you no, know, it's fine. I feel like it's gonna be perfect. Oh, so no, bro, you, bro, take the thing off. Like just touch, unbox it from the film. Whoa. Jesus Christ! So it's some plastic wrapping around it. Mm. Looks very big. Yeah, you can pull it out. You can pull it out. Ooh, that plastic. You wanna do that? You wanna ASMR? Smell, oh. smell, smell. Yeah. Oh, oh, it smells like SpaghettiOs for some reason. So here is the Fujifilm. Yep, perfect. And the viewfinder. Yep. It's here. Can <laughs> might I touch it for a second? Yeah. That's how big this is. Can you hold the camera? Please? So from my big hands, this is actually like a film camera and it's so small. Yes. Yep, same smell, same company. You wanna show that lens filter to me? Oh wow. Unlock the lens. Yeah. That looks shiny. So you see all those writings, um, those are all specs I'm assuming. Um how so first hand, how does the like uh, zoom ring feel? You know, like use a zoom ring? It feels like um it this feels thing. it feels very sturdy. Um it feels like it's gonna last very long. I'm it's... not sure about the build quality though, because it's a kit lens, so we'll have a talk about okay. that yeah sometime. Um so you know Can you connect? Oh so it's more? it's connected. I'm a bit confused. Oh, interesting. Um, so there's a lock, I think. This is bigger than iPhone. Yeah. The one uh, that I got for six, out of six thousand was the very small. Do it all the way to fifty-five. Now do it all the way to fifty-five. What I'm? No, no, this thing. This is that. Is that the max? Oh no. Oh, okay. So, so it, that looks satisfying and cool. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a professional. So add it on. Add it on. Uh, so red, watch red, and then lock it in. That click. Oh, that, that it is not like that push click. Oh. It's just like, bling. Oh, it gets heavier. It gets heavier. So can you just oh, hold wow. it? Oh wow! Like that. It gets heavier. Check this. Check this. So, you can pull up. Lock, lock it on. So, Fujifilm XC30 looks nice. That lens cap. Uh, anyways, it looks great. It feels very good. Aesthetically pleasing. Really, I understand why it looks like a vintage camera. So, you go on a specs. Well, um, okay, so this is the 26.1 We can't use this for our YouTube video um, Videography camera because it can only do 4K for only 10 minutes Which is damage. very sad EMOTIONAL DAMMIT uh, And um, it is an APS-C camera What we know is that this is the uh, X XT Do you know it's an X yeah. It's an extra sensor. Oh, um, so uh, while we're talking about it, um, right out of glass, it's actually kind of heavy. Like, yeah. Uh, it's it, heavy. I feel like it's much heavier. Than yeah. your six My six is so much heavy. I don't know the why. The quality outside is very sturdy. I feel like this is all metal, basically. Yeah. It's very good. Um, and off glass, um, I feel like these. There's so many like uh, for this price of lens, kit lens, you get very like satisfying like buttons. You usually you, you you know you wouldn't find, especially in Sony phone, you would find like G Masters or like you know, Zoom lenses. You only find. And I think that's very good. You know, plus for Fuji. One unfortunate thing I found as a camera user from you know both Sony, I'm not sure, um, is that um it's this. 
how no the tripod tripod is you know right next to the tripod mount or any mount is you know right next to the battery pack and what's even worse is that you know the SD is in there so if you want to change the battery or if you want to pull the SD card you gotta you know, take everything out and you know, the button and that's very annoying. Um, How about AC? Is it swivel? Uh, I'm not sure. Is it swivel? Oh no! Oh yes, it can swivel. Oh, so it's like a Sony. It's like your Sony. So it's like your Sony camera, right? Eight thousand. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Sony also gives out LCD. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll double check on that. So um, I just wanted to know what one interesting thing is. I really think the viewfinder is Fujifilm. Is, you know, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's so is it? I can, like it. Can you tell us the resolution of Fujifilm, the EDF? One thing I really hate that Fujifilm changed from the XT30 Mark One. Is that the menu button is right here? So sometimes, um, you hit it, yeah, with my thumb. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like I understand. Yeah, that. um, that's one thing I really don't like about There's um, not a lot of space because it takes a little bit of Yeah, you, you get used to it. And then, um, uh, so overall, um, I personally think that this is a, a great beginner camera for all the beginners out there. If you want like a camera, but a little bit less expensive, but like a vintage use, look, yeah. But, but you can choose the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can use black too. I know, just on the vintage look, uh, there's also the uh, Nikon ZFC. It's basically the uh, Nikon M50. How do you guys know all the models? Uh, it's just that if you get to camera nice. business, you just know everything. Nice. Uh, so just the ZFS, which is a uh, like a vintage camera basically, has 4K. I would personally have gone through that, just because it has 4K, 30, I'm not sure, but from a, from a, you know, I mean, stack from a video side, I would have gone back, but hey, it's my garbage choice, so it is what it is. Alright. And um, if you want to go for a um, cheaper option, you can buy the XT30 Mark One, Or like the XA7, XA5. Or the XT200, but, which there's yes. um, the color champagne gold. Yeah, but the XA, the XA7 and 5 unfortunately does not have the EVF. And you know, I feel like EVF, especially this viewfinder, is very important to the aesthetic looking. That like middle with like that circle just looks you know, beautiful and you know that, that's what Sony uh Fuji did not master. I mean the Sony A7 mic looks exactly like this. Mm -hmm. A7C. Yeah. A7C. No, not A7C, but like the A7 IV. In the A7C, they have that triangle viewfinder exactly like the Fuji. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think that you know Fuji has one of the best designs. I mean the silver touch. Not like yeah, a, like like A7C. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put the A7C right here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Thanks guys. Um thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video and like this video if you like this video and turn post notification and if you have uh, something to ask, com um, comment down. Comment down below and thanks guys, subscribe, have a great day. Bye. Have a great week. Bye guys.